Hi there, I'm Patrick Hebert. I'm the CEO of ECI Development, and I'm here with Peter Olofsky. And, uh, well, Peter, I'm going to actually ask you to Hi. explain yourself. And who yeah, you hello. Are and, and Hi, I'm Peter, Peter Olofsky from Vienna. Great to meet you here. I'm a musician, I'm a singer. It's my first time out here in San Pedro, and it's absolutely amazing what's happening here. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the purpose of your trip to, to Belize? Yeah, it was quite interesting. I, I met, uh, met uh, uh, some time ago, I met uh, uh, Joel because it was I didn't know that I was teaching his, his daughter in Vienna. She had, uh, in our institute, she had music classes, she had voice lessons and piano lessons. And then one day they met each other and talked and he and his wife, they mentioned about a beautiful place in the middle of nowhere, which is apparently very nice and where people like to do music. So I thought, well, where could it be? And I said, yeah, it's some of the Caribbean islands. And I got more interested. I've never been in this part of the world and was imagining to doing there some music would be great. So so we had the idea to, uh, to make a, a music week in Belize. Uh, Belize city, so that, that made me to come up here for one week and meet the local musicians and, and to organize something greater with them. We want to know to form a group where we'll also have music being playing together and then we can go on a tour and present the Belize music everywhere else. It's beautiful, it's really, it rocks you. The, the Joel you mentioned, Joel Nagel is one of the founders of ECI and he was instrumental, him and his wife. and daughter taking lessons from you and getting you to, to, to be here so I just want to from him and from all of us just want to say thank you very much for, for being here it's a, it's a big event for, for Belize and I'm sure it's not so bad for you either in the no, turquoise water and the white sand and yeah this is really paradise it's wonderful how did you uh, how did you get started in music well, I actually was born into music. My father was opera singer, so I, I was surrounded by music. I started early with the playing an instrument, the violin, and then the, the, in Vienna there is this boys choir, Vienna boys choir. So they travel a lot, and I heard they are traveling, and I love traveling, so I, I did all these entrance exams. So I was there with the Vienna boys choir singing on, on, on the world touring, and so on. Then I stayed, I stick with the music. It was actually never work for me. It was, it, it's still today, it's fun for me doing music. Music brings people together. When people do music, they have fun usually. And so there are no discussions. It's a good time always, party time. That's great. Well, who were your early influences in, in music? My influence, well, of course, as I said, my father was my, my biggest influence. <laughs> Then of course the, all the, 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 uh, the surrounding in, uh, in Vienna. Vienna is a very musical town. You meet so many artists. You, you, you come together. You learn. I had so many teachers, teachers of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm so thankful to them. I even had one teacher. He was the founder of the New Year's concerts in Vienna, which take place always the first of January. It was great for me to be sort of at the source of the classical music. And this is this this is what is in my heart, and what I wherever I go, I want to I want to bring the people together by doing music, living peacefully together, and creating something beautiful, something even more beautiful with music. That's great. You mentioned that you you know, like music and you like to travel. Where whereabouts in the world have you all has music taken you? Okay, so me personally, I have uh, I lived in. Uh, after I, I finished my studies, I lived in, in Verona. In, uh, in this was just a huge uh, uh, outside opera, the arena. There I, I met for the first time in my life uh, to work together with Pavarotti, with Domingo, with Jose Carreras. It was quite, quite, a, quite a great thing for me. Then I got a, a contract uh, to, uh, to perform in the, in the opera house in Pretoria, the National Orchestra. So I, I signed this contract and I stayed there for three years, which is a beautiful part of the world. Then I got my next contract to be a, a teacher at USC in Los Angeles. So this was quite a big move. So I stayed there for a while, getting involved in studio gigs with Barbara Streisand, with, with Chicago, with the Disney Studios. This was actually wonderful. I still have to, there are some, some work to do. And then this brought me to Spain, where I, I, I lived in Granada, worked there in the orchestra. And afterward, three years right at the scene in Malaga in the Philharmonic Orchestra. And then I started to, uh, to uh, become independent. 
and I formed my own music festivals and I opened my first private music academy in Marbella and this then later led me to Germany where in Dresden I opened 12 years ago the, the next music institute which is a quite a big success and two years ago this brought me back to the roots, back to Vienna. So there I am, back home. <laughs> so you, you mentioned opera and, and obviously the classical music. What are, what are your favorite styles? Who are your favorite artists these days? Other than yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was just, before I came here, we had the opera production of the Parsifal Wagner in Baden-Baden with the Berlin Philharmonic with Sir Simon Rettel. I mean, those, those people, they, I, I love them all, you know, they're great. Next week I do another opera with Cecilia Bartoli at the Salzburg Festspiele. I mean, she's also, she's world great. I'm happy to perform with all these people. But I'm also very happy, I, I just remember when I was in LA, I studied with the voice teacher of Michael Jackson at Whitney Houston. That was great, to find out that his teaching is sort of rooting in the classical music. So if you weren't a musician, what what job or occupation do you think you would have had? I think I would I would somehow be on the beach and sell coconut or something. <laughs> well you come to the right place then. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe my next job. So what so what have you thought of Belize so far? Wow, it's uh, uh, it's it's quite impressive. First of all, when you when you arrive at the airport you think like wow, this works, but yeah it works. It, it's it's so so humble and, and it's easy everything there. And the first day they they showed me uh, the the Mayan this excavation. I mean this was beautiful. Then you see all these different uh, languages and cultures living together. I really like that. And of course there are bananas, coconut, watermelons everywhere. This is so, so healthy anyway. And you you don't see sick people. You know, they're all healthy. It's great. So very relaxed lifestyle it's similar to Spain you live with the Sun you know but what, what, what other problem should you have I know you brought um, I believe you brought a, a violin down I mean I think you yeah we brought we brought from the music Institute as, as a present to the, to the uh, foreign minister of Belize it was presented to him a, a beautiful violin from Austria yeah I can send you some pictures from this later on and they, they really liked it. And we will do more more exchange, cultural exchange between Austria and, and Belize. Definitely. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Like, what kind of exchange do you do? And you've been working with the kids at a musical school here, and yeah. I think you might have a bit of a performance coming up or something like that. Yeah, we are we're going to, uh, to set up various centers in the six different districts of, of Belize, where also the teachers can become independent teachers and where they can live on their own. So they don't subsidy because in, like in, in an old system they sort of the government has to take care of them but nowadays everything is modern so they can make themselves a living and so, so we teach them that how it will work how they can become uh, also successful by uh, touring around by uh, by doing chamber music by appearing at, at weddings at party gigs and to have fun by doing the music that's great what, uh, if you had to pick one thing, what one thing has stood out for you most in Belize? In Belize? Actually, the, the watermelon juice. <laughs> watermelon juice. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could probably bring that back to Austria, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you very much, Peter, for yeah, thank you so much for joining here. us and for everything you're doing for the country here. I thank really you. All it. the best and good luck.